Well, Bemidji State football team hits the road tomorrow for the Battle Axe game at Minnesota State Moorhead. Last year, the Beavers won on fourth down touchdown from Malik Williams with 39 seconds left in the game. The Dragons are 2-4 and four on the season so far. BSU, they've now won four straight after that 0-2 start. Six different players scored touchdowns last week against Concordia St. Paul, but the selfless Beaver O-line is the big reason why BSU is first in the conference and eighth in the country in scoring offense. I mean, offensive linemen, we kind of have that mentality that, you know, we don't get the stats or the accolades or get our names in the paper after the game, but, you know, we kind of band together, do the dirty work in the front, and we're fine with that, you know. You know one of our goals is to have the leading rusher lead the conference in rushing, so our goal is just to get the other guys the stats. So we kind of have that selfless mentality to kind of go in, do the dirty work, and get everybody else a win. We haven't really talked about it a lot. Like, it's, it's crazy. Like, the history and the guys know about it, but... We try to keep it game by game. Obviously, I've brought it up, like, you know, the rivalry and, and keeping the axe. But these guys are pretty locked in about the, the cliches of, you know, owning the week and it doesn't matter who you play. So uh, they'll be a little bit more juice, though. I mean, they don't like us. We don't like them, whatever you want to call it, the rivalry. And the, the cool part of the rivalry is, you know, a lot of these kids have played against each other in high school. It's a lot of regional guys. So I think that also brings back, you got, you know, Ryan Beaverdorf from Bemidji playing over there. Uh, vice versa, we got more head kids on our side or around that region. So it uh, brings a little bit more just because they've known each other for a long time, too. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.